Hi everyone and welcome to the fifth episode of uh, this course. So today we are going to take a look at a new widgets today. These widgets are buttons and components. So uh, actually let me show you what do I mean by buttons and components. Then I will show you a real example. But actually I believe that uh, it's good to start with uh, this example. So uh, actually I have made this example. So this is a blank page as you see. So it is created by default whenever you create a new page inside Flutterflow. You find something like this. So all I have added is this button. So this button or actually uh, whenever you see a button you think that uh, if I click it on that button something will happen. So let's click on that and see what's gonna happen. So. So as you can see here, something new showed up or popped up. So that's uh, what we call a component, which is uh, the second part of this video. But uh, for now, let's focus on buttons. So if I click on go back, I will go back to my main page. If I click again on this one, I will go to this component. I will click back and I, w I went back to, the, to, to my page. So this is what we are going to build today. So today we are going to learn about uh, or I, we are going to see how buttons works and also what are components and how we can create them so for that I will quick uh, close that and uh, let me ch explain to you what do I mean by this chart so actually I want to give uh, uh, a quick word to this uh, software or platform it's called Websicle. Websicle is a very amazing platform that allows you to create uh, uh, mind maps and also you have to, to design your app and uh, we are going to see that in more advanced videos in this course but I highly recommend you use it I'm not an affiliate with that but uh, actually I really like it so I want to try it for yourself so it's called Websicle so you can uh, so you can go there sign up and start building something uh, with it so you can create as I told you mind maps or wireframes for your app so you can create whichever you want <laughs> So go there and try it for yourself, or you can find the link in the description down below. So um, now let's go back to Flutterflow. So here I have built something. So I will try to delete everything and start from scratch so you can know what I am doing. So I will also go here, delete component for now. So I will delete this uh, this file, which is... So it, it I can't delete that, but I can remove this one and I can say yes so we are good to go so I will try to remove that folder and now we have our blank page so now let's start building so now I will select the home page and I will go back to my widget tree and then as that I will start building so here we have a column so uh, inside that column we can add something so for the sake of this tutorial we are only going to add a button so this is the button so uh, Actually, I will delete, delete this column because I have uh, made some changes. So I will add a brand new column and inside that column, I will add a button. So here is uh, my button, but I want it to be at the center. So there are two things that we can change. The first one is uh, the alignment. So we want to add all of the children of this column to the center of the page. So I'm going to select the column and then I will select this one so it, uh, it is on the center but we want it to get down a little bit so it is on the center for both uh, axis vertically and horizontally so uh, oh, sorry vertically and horizontally so I will uh, select the column again and I will select uh, this one which is center for the main axis alignment so I will select that so we are we have this button at the center of the page so i will rename that uh, instead of saying button i will uh, add for example i will add uh, for example uh, now i will try to change that uh, from button to go to page and actually uh, the, uh, the the logic i want to try now is that whenever i click it on this button so I want to go to a new page so if I wanted to go to a new page then I will have or I must have that new page to do this I'm going to go to the page selector so now here inside the pages folder I will add the new a new page and then I will call it for example welcome page so I will create a blank page so keep uh, the name so I will uh, drag it inside this folder so it is uh, in the same folder as our home page 
and uh, as you see here once i have selected the welcome page uh, i don't have the button but if i selected the home page i have the, this button so now i will try to make uh, something to differentiate between the welcome page and also the home page to do that i will just select the home page and then i will go back to my widget tree i will select the app bar for example i can change uh, the background color of the app bar i can also change uh, what's inside of it so i will change the text i will add say for example welcome page so so now we have some difference between the first page and the second one so now i will go back to the home page and then i will pr play around with this button so as i told you i want uh, to to go to the, to the other page if i click on this one so to do that select the button go to the action flows here so here is uh, our action so here is where we are going to play a little bit with the logic of uh, of our app so let's add an action so we also have a, a condition action which means that uh, if something was true or false something will happen so this is related to what we call app stage but uh, we're going to see that in other videos but for now let's keep it simple so let's add an action so once you have to on add an action they give you three options the first one is on tab second one on is on double tap and the short one is on lock press this is uh, the type of action so if, if uh, this means that if you click it once on this button something will happen if you double click it on this one then something will happen and if you long press on on this then something else will happen so for now let's keep it on tap let's keep it simple and you can choose whichever you want but for me i will change or i will choose uh, on tap and then once you have selected the the type of action then you will have or they will give you a bunch of actions so you can play you can do a lot of things but as this is a beginner course so let's keep it simple and play around inside the navigation bucket of actions so if you want so here once you have opened the navigation bucket of actions so you, they give you uh, the first option and the second option and also this one so this is a little bit hard but let's work on these two guys the first one if i open that so they tell you navigate to which page so if you want to navigate to a certain page then you need to name that so if we want to go to this page then or this is why i will choose navigate to welcome page so here i have defined my action so if you want to see it click on open action flow editor open that and you will see here is your action so on tap you will navigate to welcome page this is what we want so now uh, let's try that and see if it, if it is working or if there is something to fix so once it is uh, w uh, loading so let me tell you so this is the button and uh, once you have to click on the button you may navigate to a search page or you may add something for example if you are using uh, or if you are building a to-do list app then whenever you click on the plus icon this will add some a new task so that's a, some sort of action or you can create an account for example if you are using an app where people can create accounts for example if you are building a social media platform then if they click on for example create an account then then a new account must be created and all of this can be called action so all you have to, to keep in mind is that buttons leads to actions so this is very simple and there is nothing to be uh, to be hard to explain so everything is simple so now uh, i will skip this for now so now uh, here is my project so i will try to uh, tr see if this is working so i click on that and it took me to the, this new page which is the welcome page so this is working very well and uh, for now what uh, do i want to do is that inside that second page so once uh, this button took me to this page then i will i want to do something else so uh, here is where we are going to learn more about components so uh, for that i will try to add two buttons so the welcome page inside that welcome page i will go to widget tree and uh, here i have a column so all i have to do is to ins inside that column i want to add two buttons the first one and also the second one so the first one i want to call it uh, show component and this, so components i will correct that and the second one is to 
go back go back means that you will give go back to the home page where you came from in, in the first time so i will do the same i will try to make them in, at the center of the page we we'll select this one and also this one and i want to have some spacing between them so to that i will go to item spacing and i will add for example 20 and i will try to change the color of this one to uh, differentiate it from this one i will for example make it uh, green so let's try that so now i will choose this one so this one is good so now we have two buttons and what do i want is that uh, uh, this button must show me a component right here and this button must take me back to the home page so let's uh, do the action logic or the logic for this one because it is easier so i will select it i will go back to the action and i will add a new action so like we did with the first one so on tab then i will want to navigate back so uh, if i came from a home page then i will i want to go back to where i came from so you can just select this one or go here or say navigate to home page because you came to to, to home you came from home page and if you navigate to home page it's it's uh, the same as uh, navigating back so i will choose navigate back so this button will take me back to where I came from, but this button must do something really uh, new. So for that, I will go back to my page selector. I will close this folder and instead create a new folder called, or actually there is no need to create a new folder. I can just create a, a new component. So just click on this uh, on this icon. So this this means page and this means component. So I will add a new component and I can either generate it, by, uh, generate it by AI or I can just create something uh, totally blank and new. I will create blank and I will call it for example uh, hello component. So this is called uh, hello component. I will create component. So this is a component and by the way a component is simply uh, a set of widgets so for example we saw that we have widgets like buttons text images columns rows and containers so we saw that in previous episodes but component is something that is more complex it is something that is more custom for example uh, so let's say you want for example to build uh, let's say a product card so you can call that a component because it is complex, it, it, it contains images, text and also button. So we saw that in the container episode. So you, if you want to see that, if you want to see that, if you want to see that episode, so you will find it in this playlist. So just to keep in mind that uh, a component is something that you build by yourself. It's something that is custom, that you want to do something with it. So you want, you want you, or you have to go and build it so you, you can find it for example uh, uh, here so these are basic widgets so if you combine buttons images roses something like that then you can be building a what we call a components and don't worry if it just uh, it sounds a little bit complex but just for now just to follow my tutorial and uh, in the previous or in uh, and in more advanced uh, tutorials and courses and playlists we are going to see how we can apply that in building real apps for now just uh, get the basics so and don't worry about the, the future so we are going to tackle everything inside Flutterflow so now let's start building this app so or this component sorry so for that I will go back to my page selector select this one and uh, even though this is a component it's not a page it's just a component it also has its widget tree so you can start building that so preferably if you want to build uh, uh, some sort of component so in, they will give you uh, this which is a container so it's preferably to add another another container inside that which will help you add a color to the background so i will add a container and as you can see now and uh, i wanted to check the full size of this uh, uh, window right here to do that so we saw that in previous episodes so if you want something to take the the full size of its parent so all you have to do is to click here on the width so it took the width of its parent and if you select this one it will take the height of this parent or or of its parent which is this one in this case so now we have back our container then or now we can start building so i would just want to have a text 
that says hello world and uh, this and under that text i want to add a button that will just uh, close that component so one button or one text is for hello world a second button or the second which is which is button is for closing that uh, button or for closing that uh, component sorry so what do i want to have here so as we saw in example we had text that says hello world and b b under that text we had a button that would close that uh, bottom sheet or component if you like so i will add a column the reason why i have added column so because at, we, i had a text and and uh, uh, a button so they are a column so we saw that in the second or yes in the second episode of this playlist so i will inside that column i will add a text and uh, also a button so i will try to make them at the center so do the same we did that previously so i will make it bigger a little bit bigger so i will make it 30 and uh, i will keep it this way at the button i want to say close component so once you have clicked on this button this component will close so i will add a padding which is a space between this one this button and this text let's say 20 so this is the pattern i have added right here this 20 is the green space i have added here so uh, i want just to add uh, or make this corner a little bit uh, smooth not sharp this like this i want to go to the container and then i will scroll down here and uh, change this one so you see that uh, so the first thing i will disable this lock because if I enable that and add something like, for example, something like here, or something, and if I add something here like a 20, so I will have uh, uh, a border radius in the four sides or in the four uh, corners of the container, which is this one. But I want to disable this one and just m uh, keep this sharp. And uh, so you see that I will add zero and I will, I will only want a border radius on the top sides or on the top corners so now i have it uh, very nice and one last thing to do is to just uh, to select the container and uh, select this one because once we have clicked on that button it has to show at the bottom of the page not on the top of it so it has to show on the bottom do the same so don't do anything just do this one just select the container which is the white container and click on this or choose this position so whenever you click on a button this will show at the bottom of the page that's good so now i will go back and go back to my page and which the welcome page so as i told you we did the logic or the action for this button but we didn't that for this button which is showing a component and the component will show up at the bottom of the page and that component is what we have been building so i will go click i will select show component i will add to do i will go to the the action part i will add an action and uh, so keep it on tap but this one or this time is not uh, going to be a navigation instead it will go or it will be a bottom sheet so a bottom sheet is that component we have been building so it will show up at the bottom of the page so i will or once you have selected this bottom sheet so i can close that and there is nothing to see or not not and that to do but once i have opened that so you see that we have some sort of uh, uh, options right here so we have show and also we have dismiss so this means means uh, close so, but as this button says we have to show the components so that's what we are going uh, and that's why we are going to click on or select show show component so now we, they ask you to select a component because uh, they can do that automatically you need to show them what component you want to show up so select component and uh, since we only have one component they give it to you so hello component and that's our component i will select it so this button will show that component and so actually i will go back to the home page or I just or yes I will go back to the home page and then I will run it again to see if what I have done is working or not so now here we have our project so let's try go to page 
so the first thing is really wor is working very well so it took me uh, it took me to this page so if I went to, uh, if I click on go back I will go back to the page I will go back again to the welcome page and then I will try to show the component if it is working then we are good to go and we have done uh, the, the goal and we have reached the goal of this re video so let's try that let's show components and it shows you all of uh, the comp so the component actually took uh, uh, the, uh, the full size of the page and uh, what's important to us is not the size is that uh, what's important to us is, uh, is just if uh, that button is working or not but uh, later on or just uh, in a few minutes we are going to reduce its size but for now let's keep it simple let's now try to close this component so this is not working because we haven't made any rules for that so let's go back to hello component and i will select this one so i will go back to the action and i will tell this button to close this component so i will search for button sheet like i did with the previous button so bottom, I will go here, bottom sheet, and instead of showing this uh, component which is already shown, so I will instead choose this miss. And there or here I have made some changes, that's why I will need to go here and click on instant reload. So I will update my project and add the new changes I have made. Now let's try and see if it is working, so let's show the component. And then let's try to close it. So that's uh, really nice. I will show the component and then close the component. So that's good. The last thing is to just reduce the size of this uh, of this container. So I will select the hello component, go back to the widget tree and select this container. And I will instead of uh, giving it an infinite height, I will just give it or make it take 40% of the whole page. So this is a little bit smaller, but once you or once I have uh, reloaded it here, it will take the 40% of the whole face. So you may find its upper edge somewhere, somewhere like somewhere here or here. So let's see that. Let's uh, click again on instant reload and see if the changes we have made were actually working. So now I will go to to welcome page. I will show the component. And as I told you, so it, uh, it is not taking the full size of the page, so it is only taking 40% of the page. If I click on close component, then it is closed. So here we have made our component and we have learned something about components and also buttons. So if you find this useful, then don't forget to subscribe to this channel and also share this with your friend. But uh, the most important thing is not just to share and follow me and stuff like that but the important thing is to apply what I have taught you today so as we used to do in previous episodes uh, uh, go download this or open you will find the link in the description so if you are one of my patreon uh, uh, member so you will uh, you will get it for free so here is my patreon page so if you like my videos and my tutorials and want me to keep uh, building apps and showing you how you can learn no code with Flutterflow and uh, even with other stuff like Bubble or something like that. So if you want me to go in depth with Flutterflow and uh, showing you how you can build the real apps and going with you from A to Z. So there, don't forget to support me on Patreon. So this is really important. So you don't have to pay thousand dollars. It's just a five dollar a month. So it is really uh, helping me and uh, it will help me keep uh, working and build an app so you, i can show you how you can build apps for yourself or for your business so don't forget to subscribe and become the first contributor but for now actually all i can say is to get that or get this exercise from the link in the description down below open it in a new tab and try to learn from that and try to uh, uh, apply the same just uh, a quick note try what you learn don't just watch videos instead try what you learn because one or when you try what you learn then you will learn faster and you will have more fun and you will be uh, 
uh, ahead of all of or of ninety percent of people because a lot of people are just learners without uh, without being appliers. So instead, be an action checker. And all I can say now is. Thank you for watching and see you in the next episode. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel and share this course with everyone you know so we can learn all together. So now, goodbye and see you in the next episode.